there's just so much I want to say when it comes to this game. Like four years worth of saying, so I'm going to get into it. This is going to be my review of this game. Just like everything that's happened up until now. And now isn't like the gameplay that you're looking at. Can you even tell if it's the PS4 version or the PS5 version? See, I mean, I don't even know. I mean, I'm looking at it. I'm playing it. Shit all looks the same. <laughs> uh, my good friend said he couldn't tell the difference between it. Neither can I. Okay. But we're going to get into it. There's just so much I want to cover, right? First, let's talk about how Ilphonic wants us to pay again for this game, even though it's not a free update. They did give a discount, right? But they still want you to fork over some cash. And there's so many people happy and willing to give more and more money to this company. You know what the crazy you know what the crazy thing is? It's these guys they announced this game was coming to Xbox. I'm happy for that. More players on this game, that's way better, you know. That's a positive. And then it's coming out on a PS5 port. Does the PS5 port do anything? Does it add 120 frames or 60 frames? No, that's just too much to ask for. That is way too much to ask for. It's just a graphical update. The game is still the same. There's no new things. Oh, I mean there is a new thing. It's another Predator. That's what I want to. That's what I want to get on on. There's just so many Predator DLCs. Yes, I know the game title is called Predator Hunting Grounds. But we really need to stop with that. I know they got mounts to feed over there. And that's why I forked over my money to help them. Because they need it more than me, man. They need my money for this game. The Phonic is just so great at taking like your favorite IPs and just squeezing and squeezing and squeezing and milking them dry. Friday 13th. Yeah, I think it went down because it had some like rights issues or whatever. But Ghostbusters, I don't see anybody playing that shit. I know people like Ghostbusters in the movies and stuff. Um, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I have no one on my friends that's playing that. No one on my friends is playing that. Crazy. 2025. Back to the rant, back to the topic at hand, man. Like, it's been four years, and what does this game have? Just a bunch of paid DLCs, reskins of Predators. Like, I get people like that, right? But it's not like League of Legends where it actually changes the skins and the animations and the, like, sounds or, like, just... I know that they added new things, like new roar updates for this, like, PS5 upgrade. It's cool, but, like, still nothing changes. It's still the same game that you've been playing since 2020. And that's just a sad thing, man. Because I feel like there's so much untapped potential with this game. Now, I made a post saying, like, this game would do good on free-to-play with, like, a battle pass. Because they could add so many microtransactions for cosmetics and stuff. But it's just crazy. It's just crazy to think people don't even want that. But most games have, like, a battle pass system nowadays and crazy cool cosmetics. But this game, with its rich comics and like stuff, and the movies and everything, they, they can't even get that, or they don't even want that. And this game could have been free to play, but I don't even know, man. What can save this game? What I think can save this game is, God forbid, we need some new game modes. Like a 3v12, 15 player, 3 predators. 12 humans, a bigger map, maybe some new mission types. People like, people want more DLCs. I'm so sick of it, like I'm so sick of reading and seeing that. I want maps and I want game modes. First things first, game modes. 
Aren't you all just sick of playing Hunt? Doing the same shit that you've been doing? You can say that about anything, but this shit is really repetitive. It's crazy, bro. It is so crazy. And then people defend it. They want more and more DLCs. And this is just a DLC galore fest. Like, if you just look at it, there's just so many DLCs that just came out. And it's only been Predators. We've only had Dante, like Marshawn Lynch, Isabel, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. So three human characters for the fire team. Right? And I get the appeal is for the ASM games is playing the killer. But the queue times in this game are ridiculous. Like, you've seen the clip. I had to wait eight minutes just to, like, get into a game. Sometimes it's even worse. I've heard the horror stories of people waiting up to, like, insane hours and stuff. But that's what happens when everyone wants to play the new Predator DLC, even though it's just a reskin, but with different stats. What do y'all not understand? Quick little tangent here. I mean, this is the kind of gameplay that you're gonna be seeing. Like, the people that still play this game are the ones who are just gonna buy this game. I know, uh, I wish all the new people that come into this game. And best of luck, this is the type of gameplay you're gonna be seeing. Now, PC players are way better than this, but this is just your average, typical console sweat. And you're gonna have, like, bots on your team. When I say bots, I'm talking like real humans, but they play like NPCs. And it's just a great time, but then again, this game ain't even that competitive. GG, boys. I'm gonna leave y'all with some, like, funny clips towards the end here, but if I were to recommend this game, if you have friends and you like Predator on the grounds, you like the Predator franchise, I would play it. But if you're casual and you don't even like Predator, and you want to make some extra games, there are better games, so I would stay away. I don't think the price is worth it for PS5 upgrade or Xbox. If you've never played it and you've always wanted to and you're on Xbox, I'd pick it up there, but the upgrade ain't even worth it, but uh, yeah. I also wanted to say that Elphonic now has the publishing rights, so we're gonna see what they do with this game. I wish they would add like aliens into this game, so it'd be just like aliens versus predator, but that's just way too much to ask for. But we're gonna see what they do. They do have a roadmap planned, and you know what it says? They're adding predators, so you can surely, surely know that people are gonna eat that shit up. You will die. So, I'll be sure to take you out first. Let's see how competent my teammates are. I'll, I'll be waiting for you, come on! Oh, we got a guy with a gold weapon team? Uh-oh. Back behind. Split up and shit, and then we all start dropping. Find like we're not playing a team-based game or nothing. Stand by, Voodoo oh, One. What are you doing, man? Uh, my it takes a whole magazine just to kill one of them, bro. That's insane. Hey, make sure y'all mud up so he can't. <laughs> I put rounds in it! Yeah, predator. Hey, what's up, motherfucker? You was talking all that shit, huh? Reloading! Mask off! Oh, many of these hell yeah! Damn. Woo! Damn. Now what do we do? Damn. What happened? Damn! Talked all that shit! Damn! Damn! This guy ran his mouth. Say, we wasn't gonna last. What the fuck? Who killed him? Which one of us killed him? DK Randy? Was it you? He put it on him. Wow. That's funny. If y'all liked the video, hit that like button, hit that sub button, drop some comments down below. Y'all gonna be playing this game, or y'all gonna stop playing this game, and uh... Just let me know in the comments, man. Let's get a discussion going. See what y'all think about this game. Oh my god, Elphonic.